Hi guys, my name is Jimmy C, and this is Madame Tussauds, and you're watching Ronin TV. Yay! <laughs> Greetings all, and welcome to another episode of Ronin TV. We're so excited, it is Vegas week. Uh, of course, you know, uh, I, I'm Chunga, hi. Uh, with me as always is Shannon. Hi. We've got Chandler. Hey -o. We've got the Butterscotch Panda, Greg Pascal in town. to Vegas, yes. yes. And back in the back, it's our That's dear right. friend, Josh. <laughs> nice go. Uh, we're pretty excited, it's, like I said, it's Vegas week, we're here doing all kinds of stuff. And we're going to tell you about what we're doing in the next several episodes coming up. But uh, first things first, we're here at the Venetian. Let me turn it around here and see if I can show you. It is a busy, busy day. A lot of people are out today. We are going to do something very, very fun. We bought something. This was Panda's idea, yes. Greg. Uh, we we bought the City Go. Yes, yes. The City Go Pass. Now they didn't pay us to do this. No, no, no. Uh, we are in no way being, you know, we're not influencing anything. We're not being paid at all. But we thought we'd try this. What this is is a special pass that you can buy in Vegas for a certain amount of days. So we bought a two-day pass, and there's a whole bunch of things that you can do if you buy this pass. Yeah that's included right, right. and so we bought a two-day pass and there's like 60 things that we can choose to go do and it's just how much can you do in two days yeah, there's no exactly. limit to it it's yeah. like it's right. how much can you do in a day yep so we're gonna make uh we're gonna make a bunch of videos yeah. showing you what we can do on the city go pass yeah. now one thing yes i have no idea what's been planned like <laughs> no idea i yeah. told these guys you plan it i'll just come because i i don't want any prep again we don't know if this is going to be any good we don't know if the city go passes it, and if it sucks, we'll tell you it because could be we're. Flop and not working. It could be yep. a scam. We don't know. Yeah, we're not being paid to uh, to represent them at all, yeah. but we'll let you know if it's fun. Yeah. So we're here at Venetian because this is our first stop of many today. Yep. Josh, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. Yes. That's the first thing. So. Yeah, I mean it's going to be my first time, but I'm actually here too more for. The aspect of where the uh, Vene or the uh, Madame Tussauds actually sits, which yes. is yes. where the original Copa room was. Right. Yes. If you know anything about us, we're huge fans of the Rat Pack. Yeah. And uh, because we're huge fans of the Rat Pack, uh, we like to research uh, the historical locations of where they sang and performed. This is the, the Venetian is the original site of the Sands Hotel and Casino. Yeah. And the legendary Copa room once sat right back there. Um, if you go over this little bridge and then kind of back into the corner, that's where the Copa room was back in the day. And on that location now sits Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. It's rumored to be very haunted. Very haunted. Yeah, in fact, I, I actually wouldn't mind hanging out with the ghost of Elvis and Dean Martin. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he invited right? to hang out with me. That's all I'm saying. No big deal. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a rumor that the ghost of Judy Garland uh, haunts Madame Tussauds, and the ghost of Dean Martin and Frank can be seen. And, 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 and Frankie. Frankie yeah. Wow. So without any further ado, let's make our way over and activate our City Go Pass. Yes. yes. We're making our way into Madame Tussauds. Here we go. There's one thing that I know that uh, the Madame Tussauds is all about. It's all about family. <laughs> family. Um, it already pulled mom. I, I know. Well, I, it took me a minute to get closer to go, oh, that's not a real person. I thought it was security. <laughs> you thought it was security? Okay. You thought that Vin Diesel was throwing down and going security? No, I have to say, though, that, like, that is too real. <laughs> like, this is not the type of wax museum I was used to when I was a kid. Right, right. Like funeral, like prep, embalming. <laughs> no, it's wax. Just take a take a big bite out of his arm. Go ahead, just right out of his forearm. Like a wax lip. <laughs> yeah. I, I I do want to say this, not that I'm throwing any shade, but uh, Vin Diesel here is on a big platform, 
He's on a big platform right here. I'm still taller. I'm just, <laughs> oh, no, like, I'm just saying. Josh, yeah. uh, Josh is too. By, by a, by a uh, pretty close, yeah. yeah, by just a tissue. Okay, so you want to come to Madame Tussauds? Here's the pricing. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Panda, Panda's prediction. What do you want to see in wax? You know, I actually don't know. I just, I just want to see, wanna see celebrities in wax. Yeah, well, sure. I think she's in here. You want to see Britney Spears? Yeah. Now, if they have a Sandra Bullock yeah. in wax, I'm taking yeah. her home with me. I, I assume this is Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. I, it's it, be. I did, this is not how, I mean, these, these likenesses are supposed to be incredible. This is not how I pictured Lady Gaga. To look. I, don't, I don't know. I don't think I would guess. It's like a mannequin. Oh, it is like a mannequin. Yeah. All right. Hey, so this is where we put the tips, right? <laughs> yes, Josh. You go ahead. You walk on because that's where you put the tips. Yeah, put that in your purse. Put that in your purse. All the neon lighting. Yeah, this is fun. Sorry. I feel so tall now. Everybody's so short. Yeah, I'm surprised at how short Whoopi Goldberg is. Whoopi Goldberg is tiny. Yeah. Well, this was 1992. Yeah, she's about your height, baby. <laughs> she's shorter than me. She's shorter than you. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, so I guess this is the entrance. This is technically the entrance. This is the entrance. We haven't even really gone in. What do you think, Chan? I like the classic. Lots of neon lights. Yeah, Greg has already said this is what my house is going to look like. This is Brad. This is a lot funkier and a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. Josh leans over to me and he goes, "I have no idea who any of these wax figures are." And then he's just like wandering out clueless. You don't know. You don't know who any of them are. That's Beyonce. There's the guy from the That's Titanic. Le Leo DiCaprio. You got Matthew McConaughey and Hugh Hefner back there. Who's that? Is that Matthew McConaughey? Yeah. Woo! So we just we just walked the red carpet. How you feeling, Panda? Uh, I'm feeling like uh, like a mob boss. Yeah, like a mob boss. Vegas, it's Vegas. Yeah, this is exciting stuff. All right, all right, all right. Um, this is not what I expected. What I expected was maybe like Movie Land back in the day, where there were ropes That's what I thought. around. They they have wax figures everywhere. Brad Pitt. Oh now see this is this is our kind of thing. They have a DJ booth. We've been DJs for many, many, many years. decades. Yeah. Decades up there doing that. So Steve Aoki. It's a DJ. Jim oh. Mac Records. Oh, he throws he, thro he throws guy. cakes at your face. Yes. Yes. That's the cake guy. I'm sure Steve Aoki's thrilled to know that's the only thing Shannon knows yeah. him for. <laughs> Panda, this is this is Vegas. He I wants me to take my top off. <laughs> I don't know if I'm cool with that. Look, I don't want to alarm you, but this is actually Hugh Hefner. <laughs> yeah, just, they just moved well, him over here when he died. So it's kind of like Walt Disney. They just froze him. Yep. And I wouldn't, yep. I wouldn't touch anything that is like on this thing because you you just don't know. You never know. It's Vegas. I mean, I've learned. Penicillin now. Greg needs penicillin. <laughs> So here's Steve Aoki, tattoos and all. <laughs> hey -o! <laughs> they have an actual, yeah, see that's cool, they have an actual controller up there. Oh, he's scratching, oh, he's scratching. Oh, yeah! This is what I don't like. Yeah, they have a computer. We don't. Not real DJs. Yep. What the hell is this? It's Halle Berry. Are you sure about that? Yes. Honestly, I do not want to get any closer to him because it's too real, man. Yeah, it's too real. I don't even want to touch him. So I've been asking Josh to speak up because of all the house music. Yeah. And instead of him speaking up, he's just getting right next to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Josh speaks up. I want that jawline right there. I mean, 
Don't Sadly, my jawline, if I don't have the beard, it looks like just a big mush. What are you talking about? It's like looking in a mirror. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I find this absolutely hilarious. If you look at all the mannequins, there's glitter over all of them from all the chicks, just like all over these guys. They're just like oh, yeah. glitter and sweat from like all the people in here. You know what I'm surprised about? I don't know if it's because he's just well proportioned uh -huh. or if he's got kind of dainty fe features, but Leo is tall. Yeah, he is. He's taller than you are. Taller than me. He's, uh, yes, at least six foot. Right? You're, you're, you and I are six five. Yeah, six five. I'm, so that's like uh, six one. He, he's six, a good six three, six two. Six three. Yeah. Leo's a big guy. Hey, oh, I yeah. love you. I love you. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Do you have This is so cool in here. Honestly, I did not expect it to be this like funky. You know what I mean? No, not at all. Look at the wall. How cool. Yeah. Oh wow. So so you come around the corner and now it's you're in the sports area. So you've got Don King. Nice. Look at this. <laughs> You're almost as big as Shaq. Was there. But do your pits look like that? No, I'm a I'm a hairless bull rat. <laughs> I have no hair. It's like a carpet. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> you included Babe Ruth's gut right there. Uh, I honestly, I think Babe Ruth looks thinner than he does in the picture. Yeah. Like, now this is this is Josh Sports nerd right here. Everything is authentic right here because they even have back here when Babe Ruth started playing, they had no numbers on team uniforms. Oh really? So everything here is pretty authentic. And then you get here to the uh, to the hat. It's just a, a modern day Yankees hat. So not not period no, correct. No. Okay. Boo. All right. Boo. I, I think I got the invitation by mistake, but I was asked to play in a celebrity golf tournament back in the day. And in my celebrity foursome was this man, Arnold Palmer. I love your drink. I showed up at the event in a kilt and some Doc Martens. <laughs> I had cotton candy pink hair at the time. And Arnold Palmer refused to golf with me. <laughs> he said, he, I walked up with my rented clubs, left-handed, and he took one look at me and he goes, no way. No way. No way. No way am I golfing with that dude. No. And he had kind of that look. No way. That's a look. And over my shoulder, I hear a voice that said, hey man, you can golf with us. Come golf with us. I'll, I'll switch one of my foursome members and you can golf in my group. And I turned around, Alice Cooper. Oh, yeah. Alice Cooper the let man. me golf with him. Yeah. The man. And we had a great day. I was going to say, that you probably had a much better yeah. day. It was fun, and I hit a dude with my golf ball. <laughs> yeah, so, doesn't get yeah. better than that. Was that dude Arnold Palmer? No. Should have been. But I still wish it was. So, I've met this guy in person. I've met this guy in person. This is a, he's, this, he's a little tall. Jeff Gordon, or not Jeff Gordon, uh, the real Dale Earnhardt Jr. That would be about the top of his head. Really? really? So he's a little, yeah, they got this one wrong. He's, he's much, he's a lot shorter here. That's what he got. Yeah. Uh, also met him, not a nice man. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Was not, you've heard that too? Yeah, yeah. I know what he's doing. Yeah, he was really, really not cool when I met him. You can see it in his Did, eyes. Didn't meet him, did meet him, he was cool. Yeah, and that's pretty accurate. I mean, that's almost looking yeah. like, like dead-eyed at him. That's crazy. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna lie. I just walked past that lady and I thought she was wax.
loved. I want to. I want to stay in that room longer. I like that room. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. That doesn't look like her at all. I don't think. Do you think it looks like her? She looks kind of scary in this. So dark. It's like. I don't think that I looks like her. her. That doesn't look like her at all. No, I, I bet she's unhappy. Okay, so here's the weird thing. As I'm walking, I didn't realize that this wasn't a real dude. <laughs> I didn't know it was Drake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize it wasn't Drake. I thought there was a dude. Hey, man, how's it going? <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Prince. Yeah. Now, see, that one looks good. Very little man. Very small. Very, very, small very slight. Man. Yeah. yeah. I have to and see if they got the Telecaster right. Oh, let's come around and see if they got the Tele right. I'll be damned. Is there strings on it? Uh, there's a couple. They're, they're missing a couple. Missing a couple, but the Tele looks pretty close. Yeah, it does actually. Looks pretty close. <laughs> Who did it better? Who did it better? It came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> That's my life. You gotta, you gotta hang your head back a little bit. <laughs> Other way. There you go. <laughs> you need some help? Hey, hey, brace, you know, brace. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Got a wedgie there. <laughs> yeah, the king of pop. You think he should? He should have a whole room. He should have a whole room, not just in a corner. Here. Yeah. You look at Drake. Oh, Drake had a whole look area. what Drake has. Look what Miley Cyrus has. He's just in a corner. Hello. He's over there, just kind of in the corner. Hello. Rubio was right. He has very small hands. <laughs> so right here we have how, this is how Tony Bennett looked in 1761. <laughs> the evolution of making wines. You're not Tony okay. Bennett. <laughs> oh, it's not how Tony Bennett looked back in the 1700s. I don't think so. So this is the most haunted part of Madame Tussauds. The stairwell that we just went down, that's the that's the haunted. This this is where oh, it's this is super, haunted. Right here is where you hear Judy Garland's voice. Oh, wow. I think this used to be back in the day, this used to be the, the horror area. Oh, no. This used to oh, be wait, the scary right. area. I, I was confused. So up here, we're now this is now the hangover bar experience. This is the suite. Oddly enough, this looks like Panda's suite right now. <laughs> There's not a tiger in there. You almost broke Mike Tyson. What? What? Whoa, there's a tiger in there. There is a tiger. That's awesome. I almost broke Mike Tyson. Do you have any of the Vander Holyfield's ear in there? <laughs> Actually, that's a that's a pretty good figure. Yeah, that one's actually very good. I want that shirt one day. I want that satchel. Indiana Jones has one. <laughs> we beat these two alone for like two seconds. <laughs> I mean, me and my clones. Yeah, you and Clooney. So, what what movie is this supposed to be from? I actually, I don't. I don't think it. I, I don't think it's from a movie. Yeah, I don't think it is either. No Clooney in so that like, ladies can marry him. I just think they didn't know where to put Clooney, so let's put him in here so the ladies, the ladies can act like they're marrying Clooney. Exactly. Yeah, I think you got it right. 
Oh, Greg. Here we go. Now, see, this is. So you got Tom Jones, Liberace, the Blue Men. You got the Blue Men. Now, see this. This you got Bugsy Siegel. The man who started Vegas, kind of. See, now here we go. Josh is getting uncomfortably close. No, it, like, it's noticing like the teeth. Like the teeth, they, they put some type of finish on it to make it look like, you know, like wet. Teeth. Yeah. It's cool. What do you boys think? So I got to get in next to Frank. Yeah, I know you. Yeah, yeah you got to get in there next to Frank. We, we share a birthday. Uh, Dino doesn't look Dino like Dino. Dino doesn't look like Dino at all. The other two look yeah. great. Frank looks close. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. share a birthday. Yeah. Oh, you, you do. You share a birthday. Yeah, that's right. Who can take a rainbow? Sammy Davis. <laughs> Here you see the wax depiction of right before the tiger struck. <laughs> Did you know that was his birthday? Roy Horn? Yeah, it was his birthday when he got mauled. Was it really? <laughs> oh, really? Oh. They're both gone now, sadly. It's unfortunate. You know, the big story there was is that the tiger did not actually attack him. The tiger was trying to help him, yeah, right? Yeah, he was having a stroke. He had a stroke. Yeah. The tiger picked up on it and tried to help him. This does not look like Chris Angel. No. no a good dude. Really good guy. We've had him on the radio show a ton. Uh, no, it doesn't look like him at all. Look at this. He even got his chest hair. Yeah. And see... Right here in just the same room is my Super Bowl halftime show. You got Elvis and oh, the yeah. Rat Pack. Oh, that's true. If you could have any Super Bowl halftime show you wanted, Elvis and the Rat Elvis Pack. Elvis and the Rat Pack. That looks pretty good. It's also a very creepy, like, face. Why? You Maybe it's creepy? Yeah, it, it, it's just creepy. That's when he started his uh, Vegas residency. Yeah. Probably, probably yeah. seduce a woman. That's when he was starting to gain some weight because of the drug use. Yeah. Exactly. You looking at me? I think you're looking at me. You looking at me? Look at this. Are you kidding me? I'm going to oh. fall in. Look. Oh. I think you need to just roll around in that. Maybe later. <laughs> later tonight. Donnie and Marie, the legendary Donnie and Marie. I just, I, I just want to put this out there. People may not know this. He tried to kill me once. <laughs> Look at, he's got the cold, dead eyes of a killer. It's a movie. It's a movie. It wasn't real. He's taller than this. He's not this small. Really? Yeah, it, it's weird knowing a lot of the people that are in the uh, wax museum. Some of the real people? Yeah, because uh, I, having met them or known them for years uh, or whatever, uh, I can tell where they're getting them wrong and where they're not. Yeah, he's a little crouched in this. He's kind of, you know. Well, he's he's in he's hey. in, it's action pose. Hey. He's oddly enough, my Luke Skywalker uh, posable figure on my desk is he's making that same pose. <laughs> evil, can evil. Oh no way. Yes. My my childhood idol. Look at those chops, man. Evil Knievel. Tom Jones. That doesn't look like Tom Jones. A little bit. Yeah. Kind of like younger Tom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like a younger Tom Jones, maybe. Yeah. That's a young Tom Jones. That's. I That's 70s Tom Jones. He, he aged like a fine wine, though. He looks much better older. You think? You think he does? Beard of Tom Jones? Oh, okay. Ladies? So, I don't know if you've noticed this, ladies, but in every album, uh, his uh, there's a certain part of Tom Jones' body that is massive on every album cover. There's a certain part of Tom's body Every album cover. Oh. They got that wrong in the Wax Museum. <laughs> you, you think I'm. Go look at the Tom Jones album covers. Oh boy. It's really? terrifying. Cool. It's terrifying. Wolfgang Puck, this looks nothing like Wolfgang Puck. Yeah. yeah. It almost looks uh, closer to looking like Toby Jones on these albums. <laughs> That's true. Satchmo. This looks great. Satchmo. 
did let us know that it's a wonderful world. Indeed he did. The attraction just keeps going Ooh, and Marvel. going and going. Oh, we have a Marvel thing now. We've been in here for a long time. We've been in here for a very long time. He looks good. And uh, he does look good. Wow. I'm big showed up. Oh my gosh. You almost broke the hole. <laughs> no, this is this is how you do it. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> That has been the uh, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, and then they put you in a gift shop, as they should. That was fun. So, I, I want to know, over here, where we just came from, there's a 4D experience. That does not come with the Go City Pass. Oh, it doesn't. So you, yeah, you have to buy that separately. Extra ten bucks. Yeah, what it is. extra ten bucks. Oh, I see. It's a, it's a movie. Want. It's like a three D movie. Oh, okay. Or so more, there's something else. I, I, I completely missed that. Forty. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know what that means. Four D versus three D, but yeah. you know, okay. All right. So we've just uh, left Madame Tussauds, which is right up there, and we've walked, we've walked, uh, made our way down to kind of get out of the crowd. Yeah. So. Holy crap! That was fun. It wow. Was, wow. Yeah. I mean, it was... It was so much fun. It was like everything I kind of hoped it would be. Yeah, here we are. So it was way more detailed than I thought as far as like uh, yeah. the staging around each character or each person, yeah. you know what I mean? It was yeah. like a whole experience where you'd go down and there's music playing and yep. parts felt like a club. Uh, well worth the money if you're coming to town, oh, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And, and it was really kind of freaking me out because of how detailed it was. Yeah. I'm just glad that they didn't move any body parts or I really would I would have just <laughs> ran out of that thing. What do you think? I loved it. It was a ton of fun. I kept looking on my shoulder thinking other people were behind me. Yeah. But it was just No, the, it's way no. Drake. <laughs> the Drake went to that. I turned around to say, oh sorry, dude, and it's it was Drake. Yeah, yeah, I apologize to Louis Armstrong in there. Because <laughs> I, I I just see this like thing behind me, this short little and I was just like, oh I'm Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Satch mode. Satch mode. Okay, so that's the first thing we've done on the City Go Pass. Yeah. Here's the thing. There's a lot of the touristy, trappy kind of things here in Vegas. Do them. They're great. Yeah. They're great. Yeah. They're we're, fun. We're locals are like, okay, that well, was pretty cool. It's really and cool. We come to Vegas, just have fun. Who cares if it's a tourism thing? Yeah. yeah. Just, just enjoy yourself. Worth every penny. It, it, it was so much better than I thought it was yeah, going to yeah. be. Same here. I thought it was going to be kind of on the cheap and yeah. not. Um, is melting. Yeah. No. <laughs> did, I mean, I don't know, I thought that. <laughs> you did think that, really? Uh, that was fun, and you can get right up next to the wax figures, wow. which is something that is kind of a new experience. Yeah. When I was a kid, you go to the wax museums. Everything was uh, about ten feet away. Right, you, could, yeah. you know, you couldn't you couldn't really get up close to them. So, if you uh, a bunch of Instagram pictures for your, your Instagram feed, that mean, come on, there's perfect nothing better. Place. Perfect place. Uh, yeah, great photo ops. Yeah, yes, they, they absolutely encourage it. You know, yeah. from from the start to the finish. Yeah. yeah. And the staff was phenomenal. Yeah. And the other thing that I noticed, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but you go through and there's people that come through with you. You don't go through in a group. But there's people that come in when you come in, right? Uh -huh. We ended up becoming friends with the people that we went through the, yeah. the, the yeah. group with. We were hanging out and talking with them and having a great time. And, yeah. and uh, woo! <laughs> uh, so shout out to Ronnie. Happy birthday and all of, all of her friends that are in there. And, uh, and that's going to do it for this one. So, all right. So be sure to like and subscribe, will you? Give us a big thumbs up. And uh, be sure to ring the notification bell so you don't miss even a minute of the fun. And check out the Radio Ronan podcast while you're at it. Yes. We're all on it, except this one. <laughs> yeah. one day, one Craig, day, Chandler, one day. Josh, myself, all on the Radio Ronan show. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.